Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Some fight tonight. Kit Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Trixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey. Do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of the Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. doing out here at this kind of time of night. Huh, looks like Emmett's been busy. Yeah, it seems like it. Certainly done a lot ever since the night I left. It's just like last night. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down, straight down, the last stop before the inferno. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. You say you've lost your self respect, but you should care. <laughs> what in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Mike. Mike? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Huh. Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Einie and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Don't you mean water under the bridge? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let me talk to Edna here real quick because there's something I need to do. Hey, Edna. Oh, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? I'm gonna say yes because it got interrupted last time. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name, reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care, you should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, 
it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Yeah, she's not made for singing, so mostly it sounds like she had a frog in her throat the most, most of the time. Anyway, um... What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Trixie Trotter, would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? Whatever happened with that speakeasy arsonist? I was about to ask you the same question. Me? Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Okay, well, I think I've done everything that I could from her, so let's just get on over to the speakeasy. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Okay, when it, so when I first played this game, it actually took me a minute to figure out what the hell you do here. Okay, so this little sheet of paper, remember when I picked that up? It gives you a hint. So what the guy was saying to the bouncer, um, if you look at it right now, um, it kind of gives you a clue. So here's what you actually do. Just follow my lead. Who is the king of Siam? Am I? What will you do if I break your leg? Lego your ego? Where do you live? Live Vermore. Welcome to L Kids, sir. Uh. Okay, that one was actually a little easier and obvious, so thank God for that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, well, in order to find out why she won't be Trey Kid, I, I guess we're gonna have to wait for her to stop singing. So, in the meantime, we'll just take a look around real quick. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. 
You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I oughta paste you one right on the- Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. All right, she's done saying it, so let's talk to her. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least it would if I had a dressing room. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm giving Cube all so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey Toots, any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know you don't break up with a creep like Kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now, but Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. That's going to be the goal for this entire episode, I believe. So um, I want to give a chat to little Officer Parker over here. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Officer Danny, Danny Parker, Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look my failure. Nah. Well, stranger. Sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now about those troubles. Uh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, well. I know a lot of people probably struggle in this part, wondering what the heck you're supposed to do. So the trick is. You have to make Trixie sing a song that fits our Officer Parker's mood. So in this case, he needs to be in a sad mood to fess up to his uh, little trouble. So let me try to find a sad song here for him. There it is, sad song. Just plain out sad song, not my melancholy baby. Come to me, my melancholy. Don't be blue. All your fears are 
foolish fancy, maybe. You All right, know, now dear, let's see what he's up to. Danny. You. So about those troubles. They all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist when not one but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Well, now it calls for the secret song. But if I was in Marty's position, yes, I would be very scared if... Or well, both scared and very sad if my girlfriend was never born. I'd never get a chance to even meet her because she never even existed. But yeah, I'd do everything I can right here to fix that. So, all right, let's play the secret song. that secret oh yeah my secret well you're my pal so i can tell you but don't let it get out i've been working for tannin for over a month now what it's true all i gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and tannin makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope Great deal, huh? Yeah, if you're a rat. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? So people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh God, I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Um, you know what? Let me try talking to Zane real quick. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh... On second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. 
So about this uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence, yeah. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Think you can do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Um, let me try putting my caricature on the wall. I always wanted to be famous. Okay. I think there's one more song we can use on Officer Parker. Let me go check the rack real quick. Yeah, let's try I Don't Care. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the Danny, you! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Okay, it seemed like that song didn't work, but I actually know what to do, so... Hey! Nice suit! Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Michael Corleone. I'm just your average 1931 kid, you know, hanging out in speakeasies and, uh, soaking in the scene. Average kids don't dress that way. Come on, what's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some bona fides. Well, you all remember how lucky we ended up by getting Biff's little lighter here. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Mikey Corleone here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> Calm your tits, matches. Hey, Artie! He's back! <laughs>